stand by. <laughs> I should hang this on here. There we go. Stand by. Okay. Can you see that? Not yet. Hold on. You can't see the. Oh, you. Oh, there you are. Can you see the Mickey thing I just put up? Yeah. <laughs> can you read You're it? You're always on a delay, but. Yeah. Can yeah. you can you read it? Now, right now, it looks it's too much light on it's it. Too so much light. Move it like towards you. Move that towards you so we can get the light out. I yeah, the sign. Oh, oh, what about there? Yeah, because there's too much light on the sign, so I can't read it. You can read it now. Can you move your easel, or is it too heavy? Move it towards you. Take it towards you. There you go, right there. Perfect. I okay. can read the sign, so, but now I cannot. All right. I cannot see what the sign is on. Can you see? That mark. I can see the sign, but I can't see what the white paper behind it. Do you have anything on the white paper? Yeah, there's blue lines. Oh yeah. Can no, you see the no, mark nothing. I just put on there? No. <laughs> oh damn. Okay. All of you. Uh, hi everybody that's joining in. <laughs> we're we're starting uh, one or two minutes early because we're trying to set this up. Uh, Romina uh, is helping me, and we're trying to figure out how to how you're going to be able to see what I'm drawing. And apparently, we just have too much light on here. Um, I'm going to try something. So this will be interesting. Um, I may have. Oh, I know what. We're going to try something totally different. Stand by. <laughs> I'm going to take this off of here. We're going to do the Haunted Mansion, a sketch of the Haunted Mansion. And, oh, and I wanted to show the rough. Ah, that was fun. Okay. We may do something just totally different today. Now, let's get rid of the easel. And, wow. Okay, we're gonna move across the room. I need to get away. I have so much light in this room now that let's go for a ride. Hi, everybody. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Dun. I know it's too bright behind me. Just a second. <laughs> are we having fun yet? I oh, know. Wait, Romina. Hi, there you are. Romina. Romina's on the phone. Romina's getting dizzy. I know it's. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I saw this fast movement, and uh, now I need the pencils <laughs> and my coffee. And hi. Um, okay, now we're going to try something different because I'm going to first of all, get off of that chair, get on here, and see if now can let's figure out where. You can see the pencil mark at the top, and you can see the blue lines. Can you? Move it closer to the in front of the camera. Then right, I'm going to tip this see. even more. Yeah, tip it forward. Tip it forward. Like angle it forward. You can see that here. line up there. Okay, this is going to be a process, everybody, uh, if we do this. Just um, it's and and bear with me a second. I'm going to close the studio door because I've got light coming in there. And <laughs> I keep moving. I don't know where they are. Hi. This is <laughs> okay. Now. You can see that better, can't you? As I okay, this is not meant for the blue lines are the underlying layout I did for this. Now, okay. Hi, everybody. <laughs> you get to watch the computer reflected in my eyes. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Uh, hi. Hi. And Romina is here with me. And actually, I have her. Oh, God, you can't even see that. <laughs> oh, God, let's get away from those windows. Yeah, can't see Romina on the phone. There she is. Wait a minute. Uh, Romina on the phone. No, it can't from the angle. There's just too much light. Too much light. Too, too much, much light. light. There's a Goofy. There's a Goofy. Yes, she has Goofy, a big, really neat painting of Goofy right behind her. 
so now we figured it out so that Romina is on the phone right here beside me. And actually I can see her and she <laughs> she's waving, uh, which is great. All right, what am I doing? I gotta show you something I'm wearing. A, this is a cool sweatshirt that we got years ago when the, uh, when we still were in Florida, around 94 before we left. And I was uh, 60 pounds heavier at the time. So this sweatshirt is uh, a, a large. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hangs down. <laughs> All right, you can't see that, so just don't pay any attention. Um, okay, I have pulled out a black pencil. I'm going to show you the sketch of this. Um, ooh, that might be even better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, okay, here's, here's what's going on. First of all, before I, let me show you the rough sketch first, and I'll show this again before I start drawing here in a few minutes. And let's explain it too, because it's yes. pretty neat. And this actually, yes, I have um, three stretch paintings I'm working on right now. Uh, and then I have uh, uh, one that's in the Pirates of the Caribbean. Then I have one that is uh, different attractions with the family in it of members. And anyway, so yeah, I have paintings that are ahead of this one. But this one actually is for Romina, and she just you just received the last stretch room painting from me. Yes, um, I have mine are complete now. Yes, she says hung them on the wall. So let's see if I can get a little closer so you can see it better. This is a very rough uh sketch I did, very rough, but Romina uh wanted a painting and it's gonna be 30 by 40. 40 inches across, three inches high. And it's of the Haunted Mansion. It's in the library. And so you said you wanted uh, Madame Leota, who will be here in the front, and the the coffin, the guy trying to get out, and the hitchhiking ghosts, and of course the 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 bus that, that rotate uh, as you go through, and then there's the uh, opera singer. And then there's the piano, and then we have the window over here, and we were going to put the clock in here, and also the suit of armor. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I did this very fast sketch actually while we were doing a video chat. So, oh, and the chandelier is going to have the the two ghosts uh, that are sitting on it and drinking, having a drink, and swaying back and forth in the ballroom. And then outside the, the window. Oh, and then outside the window will be the the bus of the uh, singing bus up okay. on the up on the hill, and there'll be trees, and this light from the window will be coming across the room, uh, the moonlight. So that will be my main source of light, uh, and other well, there'll be other lights in here too. But anyway, you'll and see the, the light. Okay. And then the caretaker and his dog. With his dog, yeah. Yeah, will be outside the window. Now. Yes. Okay. So that was the rough, 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 rough. It's like a dog. Um, <laughs> so what I will be doing, and this is on a larger piece of paper that I've laid out the next sketch, and I've done it in blue pencil. And then I will go start going over this and doing some uh, some detailing of the layout of this. And this actually this paper is in scale to the 30 by 40 um, painting that will be on, which is about four times the size, something like that. Um, and um, but I, I okay before I do any drawing, I just want to mention a couple things real quick. And Romina. Romina Blake, my producer, yes. my wonderful person that helps me with the shows now. And uh, at some point, we'll figure out how to have both of us on here. And she's in Austin, Texas. I'm in Aurora, Illinois, outside Chicago. Ah, modern technology. Um, I know. Is the picture good on me? Because my, my image looks fuzzy. It looks a little fuzzy. Yeah. Let me, um, 
try adding some light yeah from across the room now <laughs> <laughs> we spent all that time trying to take it out now we're putting it back in at least the light is behind is that better oh that's better hi <laughs> okay you see me now can you see me now <laughs> Yes, I okay. can see you now. It's better, isn't it's, it? It's better. And Romina just I'm showed me. And Romina just showed me this really neat Disney mug she just got. Yes. It's, it's the mug. It's the mug with my mug on it. <laughs> oh, she just showed it to me again. That's great. I haven't even got one for myself yet. Anyway, if, if you're interested in in ordering the mug. Just go on Zazzle, Z-A-Z-Z-L-E dot com and put in R.J. Ogren and it'll come up. It's R.J. R, R, yeah. Anyway, art by R.J. So Ogren. Let's talk about that painting because there's going to be some different um, things on that painting other than the obvious what you see. Yeah. Yeah, because here's, here's what's going to happen now. I'm going to start. Let's get in a good spot here. So I'm close, closer, and <laughs> I'll lean back and I'll disappear. Wait a minute. Let's get the chair behind me. And okay, can you see it? Barely. Okay, well, as I start to put these lines in, it supposedly will become clear and now can oh you can see those right yeah a little bit a little bit <laughs> too much light again still yeah but now i can see, i can see the light yes i can see that light well, i'll be able to tip this at certain times too okay cool get it so yeah so this actually is um in the library and i've made it's based on the library it's it's a little bit extended and what i am drawing right now is the curtain that hangs by the window which is on this side so let me put the window in. Do you know why I use the easel, RJ? Because at this point, if you're putting the darker lines, we can see that. I think that'd be a good idea because I'm moving it too much, aren't I? Yeah. So you should mention that this this painting is going to be the library, so the books are going to be the background of that whole picture. Yes. And and then there's those those busts those busts that are glow in the dark in that painting. Yeah. As you go on the ride, so that's going to be the room, and the room is going to be much much bigger than what you see on the ride because we're going to incorporate other pieces of the right into the library. Right. So, yeah, I want to kind of put in some of this background before I start adding all the figures in. And yeah, this is Just so you know, Lisa says she has a mug, I believe. So Lisa's online. <laughs> uh, she says she's loving the uh, the painting, I think, that we just saw. And Larry says hi. Hi, Larry. He's finally, finally made it. Kevin's also on online here. So we have them. Hi, everybody. So welcome. Welcome, everybody. Okay, this is the window. Okay. and. Out, well, let me do this. So I get some. This is the wainscoting under the bookshelves. Everybody know what wainscoting is? 
It's W A I N S C O T I N G. Oh, R. Jacobs Bell. I think I got it right. <laughs> and and it is the uh, wainscoting is the 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 it's about three feet high. And usually wainscoting, of course, when it's wood, has a chair rail. And of course, that's to keep the chairs from touching the painted wall above it and everything. And it also looks really nice. And there's the baseboard. Okay. Now that I've done that part, let me do this. Here, I think you're going to like this. I hope you, hope you like it. I am now drawing in. It's so much fun to draw sideways. <laughs> so, so in this, oh, go ahead. No, when I when I tell you I'm going to do a, a rough sketch for you of a of a painting, this is basically what it's going to be. Um, This here is the piano, which has big legs. Okay, and then there's the stool. And all you see of this is the, the shadow of the ghost plane, which will be, will come across the, the floor from the window here, the lights. And on here is, let's see, we have the, the sheet music. And then we have the candelabra. So that'll be there. And then this is another cross piece on the window behind here. That's right there. There, it's the back edge of the piano. There's the baseboard under, and there's a rug under that piano. So I'll put that rug in. And out here, we this is outside the window. We have the care, caretaker. Holding up the light to look in the window. And you'll see, oh, I'm just gonna go off the page a little, but the dog will be right over here trying to look in too, with a sad look on his face. This is just in front of him. And here. Not a very good dog. <laughs> okay. All right. And then right here beside in front of the curtain is going to be the opera singer. Which is normally in the cemetery, but we put her in the library. Right. So, let's see. She has got her hands clasped up here.
Was that candelabra not going to be floating? Um, yeah, I can have that one floating. You want that one floating? Let's do it. There. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll probably have it up here. Uh, outside the window, by the way, you'll see on the, there'll be a hill out here. And you'll see the singing bus in the background. Yes, we love it. Okay. And then there will be, of course, trees out here, the shadow of dead trees. All right. Then as we go across, oh, all right. I'm going to go ahead and put the figures in and then do the, I'm just going to go across and do this <laughs> rather than try to. Okay, up here, this is all bookcases. Comes across here and then turns. Um, and these are the vertical lines. Can't go all the way down with them because there's figures in front of them. And one, two, three, yeah, there's another one. And then one more. Okay. And yeah, let's do this. This will become more clear at some point. <laughs> there, we, these are the bookshelves. Jennifer has joined in and she says, I love these lives. <laughs> love the what? These lives, she oh, says. Okay. <laughs> Maybe your life or the dead people on the painting. <laughs> it's <the> dead people. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jennifer, we weren't clear. Okay, that's one of the busts in the bookshelf right there can you see it barely but i can yes i see it now okay a little bit i'm gonna do this there okay yes um all right oh yeah 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 and, and we were gonna stagger the others throughout yeah actually there's there's some down low and then there's some up high Correct. Uh, up here, we have a figure. <laughs> and this is today's, you're doing this because you're showing what it is to talk to anybody and uh, do a concept and put it on paper. Yes. So, and if you, for those of you who have just joined in, this actually is the layout for a 30 inch by 40 inch, 40 inches across, 30 inches high uh, painting that's going to be in the library of the Haunted Mansion with all these different figures in it. And this is for Romina, who's on the show with me here, uh, her and her husband, David. And, um, the neat thing about it, I didn't mention this yet, this painting is gonna be done in regular light and in black light and in 3D. So there's one I have not done is the 3D part. I'm actually sending, um, I've got a few pair of glasses. They're digital, digitized glasses, they're clear lenses, but they're digitized to separate the colors on, on this when I do it. So, what we're going to do with this, I'm going to be, do the sketch here, and then because your painting, is, I have a queue, I have a painting queue of paintings lined up. I have some Haunted Mansion, I have stretch room paintings I'm still doing, I've got one that's going to be uh, uh, and Pirates, and, and so I've got a four or five paintings ahead of the one, of this one. I think it might be six. 
but we thought it would be really neat for you to see the whole process. So each week right now, over the next couple of months for the show, I actually will be working on this painting. So next week, I actually will be laying out in detail because I'm going to finish the sketch here. You'll see the whole thing. Then I'm going to lay it out on the big 30 by 40 canvas, stretch canvas. And then you'll get to see it on there. And then I'll start blocking in the colors the next week. So each week for one hour is all I'll be working on for this painting. One hour. <laughs> Probably not even the whole hour either. You know me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, um, But I will be working in two different lights. Sometimes I'll have the regular light on in here uh, coming in from the windows. Other times I'll, I'll close the shades down and I'll have the black light on. And uh, it's going to be interesting because um, I love the shades I have in here now, but they don't make it totally, really dark. So even though I'll be painting in both types of light, I have to mix the paint in certain ways to make this work. So that in regular light, it looks like a normal painting. But at night, you can turn your black light on on the painting and it will glow in the black light. The other thing is with the digital glasses, because of the way I'll paint it, when you move about the room, the bus in the bookcase will rotate. Um, other figures will rotate toward you no matter where you move. They'll have a tendency to look like they're shifting in front of the bookcase. Um, it's what I used in haunted houses for years, in 3D haunted houses. It's a fantastic process. So to be doing it on a painting would be a lot of fun. So Romina and David, everybody that comes to your house, you're going to be putting the, put these glasses on. Walk in the other room. Um, you know it. You know it. I'll be I'll be lining them up at the door. <laughs> so these are actually just quick sketch. Still, so these are the books. On part of the bookcase, and there's more over here. Oh, I have the ladder over here too. I'll put the ladder in because the ladder um, that you see move when you go past the library in the haunted mansion um, actually has a book that slides out as if the ghost, you don't see the ghost as if he's looking at books to read. And the book comes out and then tilts toward him, tilts back up and he pushes it back in. Well, that's the book I wrote about in the first our first book together in a dream and a very funny story of how much time it took and how I did the process to make that book so it would last and how much detail was in it. So it will be in the painting for sure. So this guy, as if you haven't noticed, is the small hitchhiking ghost guy with the beard. And he's floating in the air up here. Okay, let's do this. So he has. Okay, actually, there'd be a uh, there'd be an alcove for a bus behind him, but I'm not going to put one there because you wouldn't see hardly any of it. That's the fun thing about a painting; you can just move all kinds of things around. Yes, and we did that through the process too. Yeah. Yeah, the whole thing was how to how to put it together so we could get all these different figures in here. Um, yeah, it was actually really fun. So now it's just starting to make more sense. <laughs> can you see that okay? I can see it, yes. Is he on the ladder? No. Uh, no, he's floating because well, the ladder is going to be over on this side. But okay, right yeah, here. I see. I'm sorry. That's My okay. phone's halfway on ah. top of the iPad. Right here. Is going to be the suit of armor. Ah, you moved him. Yes. <laughs> So, I 
And you moved in because I had a last minute request to do a the caretaker and the suit of armor was going to be on the edge of the piano, but now he's yeah. moved so we can see more of the caretaker outside the window. Right. So that's where he'll be. I'm going to go sharper this way. Don't anybody leave. <laughs> We'll put we'll put sharpened pencil music. <laughs> These are some new, really really good color pencils. I just bought this black one, but I bought a whole array of colors because the uh, large mural. Uh, we had another meeting uh, this past Friday uh, with the Arts Council. Um, and uh, it appears it's moving forward nicely. So hopefully within, uh, by the end of this month, we should uh, knock on wood, have full approval. And uh, uh, they've applied for a grant from the um, National Art, whatever that's called. <laughs> and uh, also are going to uh, uh, people and companies to uh, put money up for this. So that is going to be the process. Now, the neat thing is what I'm doing. So each week you'll see next week, you'll see this going onto the canvas. Following week, you'll see me blocking in colors. So it'll be a fun process. Um, and when we get down to about two and a half months from now, when I've painted the other paintings ahead of Romina's painting that I'll be only doing during the show each week, is that then I will start working on it a lot more. And within a matter of probably a week uh, or a week and a half, I'll finish this painting. So there'll be a lot done right at the end there. So we're talking about probably um, doing some short videos so you can see the rest of the process and then the finished painting. And we'll do it in such a way that we'll have the finished painting on the show. So. Anyway, so what we're doing with the mural, what we're going to do is the same thing, which will be a lot of fun. And I'm, they're going to get me a safety harness so I don't fall off because I'll be about 30 feet up in the air at times. <laughs> wow. Oh boy. Hey, well, I used to hang out of helicopters taking pictures. So <laughs> that was in the military. Another story. <laughs> yes. But anyway, um, but I'm on Thursday afternoons when I do the show, um, I'm going to um, actually take the laptop and try not to drop it up on the scaffold <laughs> and actually do a live show 25, 30 feet in the air. And uh, you'll get to see me painting part of the mural and see the process of the progress of the mural each week. Uh, we'll take pictures of get back up so you can see the whole wall and, it's it's a massive wall. It's 100 feet long, and um, I'm estimating it appears to be 30 feet high, because the wow. uh, the mural I did in Wheaton uh, a few years back that they show in that video um, for Arts Two Page that has so many views on it uh, over 76 or 36 thousand now. That actually they show the mural there, and uh, that wall was 73 feet long, but only 23 feet high. And this one is much bigger. <laughs> At least 20 feet in front of it and 100 feet long is this beautiful little park that Aurora put in with benches and, and beautiful plants and trees. So it'll be really nice. So that is what we're going to do. Now, getting back. <laughs> see, you're seeing it, but my light now is getting so bad I can't see it. <laughs> no, I can't. I'll be fine. Let me try some. Let me see if this. Oh, okay. Can you still see the drawing? I can see it. Oh, that's. I look so much better. Let's see. <laughs> Mood light. Now that you have your hair cut from Calla Lily. Yes. Um, I've talked about us going to the Calla Lily Tea Room, Victorian Tea Room, every Friday. Suzanne and I go uh, for lunch, and we either have just scones and tea, or we have incredible sandwiches and soups that they make and salads and it's all fresh they make everything there um and um they before they opened this place it's been about four or five months now 
they actually had the Kalalili Tea Room as part of their hair and a salon. And um, they just didn't have enough room. It was getting so busy. So they, they split it. Now they're talking about maybe expanding out from where they are in the new location. And it's really, really nice. But anyway, um, I went and had uh, Tanya, who was one of the owners of Kalalili, and she did my hair. And I finally have a good haircut. The first one in probably 10 years that's been any good. And and also my hair is real soft. And it's soft because it turns out that um, Myron, who uh, runs the tea room uh, from 11 to 3 o'clock each day, uh, and they have high tea. They have all kinds of neat stuff. But anyway, he runs that and does a lot of the serving and everything. He's excellent. But he's also, we just found out, a chemist. And all of their products that they sell in their hair and makeup salon, and they do a lot of weddings too, and they're so good at this. But all the products they they have, they actually make. Uh, they have in their home a full basement that is actually their 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 chem chem lab for making these uh, products. And one of them, when she was cutting or finishing my hair, she sprayed it just like four spritzes. And it was this great stuff. And afterwards, by then my hair had dried because she'd washed my hair. And it was so soft that we bought the product. <laughs> it's one of their products. And I took a shower this morning and brushed my hair while it was wet. And I spritzed it with this and then just let it dry. And it's great. So I know where we're going for all of our hair styling from Ellen. You won't even know me. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions? Or they're just like, what the hell is he doing? Um, Nick, Nikki just came on and she says, I missed from the start. So my question is, this sketch that you are drawing now and going to put on canvas, did someone ask you for you to make it? Uh -huh. Or are you planning on selling it afterwards? Okay. Um, good question. I only do um, commission pieces now. Um, and uh, I'm about, I have a, I have a painting queue. I have about a total right now about 10 paintings lined up that I've been commissioned to paint, uh, including stretch room paintings and some in the Pirates of the Caribbean and other attractions. And this one, uh, what I do is I do a rough sketch for the person who's commissioned me so we can decide what their painting will, how it will be laid out. This one in particular, uh, if you've just joined, of course, Romina, you can hear her on the phone. And I actually can see you on the phone. Hey, Romina. She's waving. Um, <laughs> um, but... Um, I just finished doing the fourth of uh, four stretch room paintings for them, and you just hung on four of them this few, a couple days ago. Um, but then they commissioned me to do a painting in the library of the Haunted Mansion. And the, the actual painting is going to be 40 inches across and 30 inches high, so it's a big painting. And I've come up with a layout that I'm going to finish doing here that shows the library, but in the library also as part of it is the big window and the piano and then you'll see the shadow you'll see the light coming across the floor from the window will be the shadow of the ghost who's playing the piano um outside the window uh is the caretaker holding the lantern up trying to see what's going on inside of the shock look you know you can't quite see it but the dog is down here with him looking in up on the hillside outside uh, of the cemetery there'll be more stuff out here because that's what that is but it'll be the singing bus. And of course there's some trees with no leaves. Uh, there is a candelabra on the piano, but uh, we just decided before you join us that we're gonna make that uh, float. So it'll be up yes. off the piano at an angle. And then right beside it is the opera singer from the cemetery and she's singing to whatever is being played. And then here's the bookcase goes across and then angles over this way. So I have the short, guy of the hitchhiking ghost is floating up here in the air with his uh big ball and chain that he's holding on to and 
these are all the books, these lines I've got on here on the shelves. And I just finished drawing the second of two of the alcoves where the um, busts are that rotate when you go through the library and they follow you. So they're in there. And then the suit of armor that you see in the hallway. And I'm getting ready to actually, uh, well, I'm going to go up here. I'm going to draw the chandelier with the two ghosts on it that are in the ballroom when you go past. And then I'll, I'll finish this. I've got the guy in the coffin is on here. The other hitchhiking ghosts, uh, uh, Leota, who actually I got to work with, the real Leota. Uh, <laughs> and the clock. I better put the clock in before I. Yes, the Start. clock is important. Yeah. You should also mention to Nikki that this is going to be a painting in 3D and glow in the dark. Yes. You'll be able to put digital glasses on. And, and even in regular light, this will work, Romina. The, the, these digital glasses separate the colors. Now, I've done, of course, I worked on the Haunted Mansion and, and all the other, like Peter Pan, Snow White, all the black light rides. But over the years, I've, I've worked on many, many haunted houses where I've designed 3D haunted houses using these high-powered black light paints that we use at Disney and mixing it with house paints. Well, once these 3D glasses came out, uh, it made it really neat because I could paint a figure like a ghost coming toward you with its arms out. And as you walk past it in a haunted house, it would rotate no matter where you went, it would follow you. Um, and that's done, it, it would work because the, the digital glasses make reds come about a foot and a half off of the wall and blue sinks about a foot and a half into the wall and all the other colors of the spectrum are in between. Well, then I took it one step further and started putting it into wall murals in homes and now into paintings. <laughs> so this is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> Cause each week I will work on this painting. Next week I'll actually be laying this out on the big canvas and next week I'll be doing some painting on it, et cetera. But um, when I get done with it and you put, it'll look really cool, that's the intent. But the thing is when you put the digital glasses on, uh, and move anywhere. If you move, just sway back and forth, or you walk in the room and walk by, these busts in the bookshelf will rotate and follow you. Um, the uh, other figures will follow you, or parts of them. I can have just their eyes that move. So it, it's going to be, it's going to come alive. <laughs> so in the daytime, you have regular, just regular lighting coming in, or you know, and it'll look like this paint, regular painting. But then at night, you turn the black light on, and you can have a, a dimmer on your regular lights, so it goes up and down. It gives you different moods of lighting. But it will, in full black light, this painting will glow. Um, and the figures, 3D-wise, will be even more prominent in 3D in black light. So this is going to be an extremely um, special, uh, involved special effect painting. Um, so I have to mix um, the these high powered black light paints, which are very expensive, very very thick, which is good because they last longer, with um, tube acrylics from Blick, and um, and it's great because I can you apply it on canvas. Didn't used to be able to do that. You could they didn't make it. You, had, you couldn't put it on canvas before because you could only get the fluorescence and they only worked on, on a wall or on wood or whatever. But now I can paint on canvas, which is really nice. Now, up here. So, so each week when you tune in, I will be working on this uh, as I... And actually, each week I'll show you uh, uh, paintings that I am doing in, the, in my painting queue. And um, so, you, so you, <laughs> I'm not just doing this. I'll only work on this over the next two and a half months on Thursdays at, at three o'clock uh, on the painting and stuff because Romina's painting actually doesn't come up for finishing until I finish about seven six seven eight paintings ahead of you and anyway does that make sense <laughs> uh, 
Yes. I tried Jill to... says she's going to love this painting, but she loves them all. She is also saying that Blake is going to have a summer break to stock up on paint. So, uh, but that's the store in Tampa. So I don't know if that's oh. going to be the Blick near you. Uh, I would hope so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what I do have a, a problem with um, with the blick that's nearest me, which I still have to, I have to go about mm, about eight miles to get to it. It's not bad. I can get there in like, um, I don't have to even get on the highway. I can get there in about 20, 25 minutes. Um, and it's a nice drive. But the the one thing, all the paintings I do are on on prime, stretch canvas they're already stretched i don't have to stretch them i used to do all my own the only ones i have to do and stretch uh, on heavy duty stretchers are the um the stretch room paintings because they just don't make them in that size i'm i'm doing those and those are 16 inches across 54 inches high and i keep going in there to my store to buy the stretchers and i'll like i went in it couple days ago and they only had three of the 54 inches I needed six <laughs> and I said how do you get three <laughs> who stretches a painting with one stretch that's 54 inches and uh, they looked everywhere trying to see if there were more in the back and it's now I'm gonna have to end up going about 30 miles to the other blick just to get those 54 inch stretchers and I says, why don't you people order these? Well, it's in the computer and it just orders when we run out. I says, so when you have the one odd one sitting in there, because nobody's going to buy one, your computer's not going to order it. And I said, yeah. I went, that's stupid. So <laughs> is this light too bright on me, Romina? Oh, on you, yes, but on the, on the, uh, on the sketch, no. <laughs> oh, let's see how that, how's that? We're going on the sketch. Can you're, you? You're still. Because that. Yeah, you, you, is it the sun on you or you just have a light? It's on? a light here. It's my Mickey Mouse light. Yeah, you, is it better? Yeah. Can you see the drawing better when I have this light on? Uh, I can oh. see you and the drawing better without the light. Yeah, okay, there. Yeah. All I right. don't know if you can see your own sketch. That's. I can I see know. enough. I laid this okay. out. Okay. I, oh, and uh, for those of you who joined late, um, last week, uh, when Romina commissioned me, um, we did a actual video chat. And this is the first time I've done a video chat. And because what I tell people is, is once you commission me, then, you know, you pay half the cost of the painting and that puts your painting in my painting queue, uh, a, a list of paintings I have. But before I will paint the painting, I do a sketch of it. I don't have to do them with a stretcher in ones, but I'll do a sketch because of something that's complicated like this so you can see what it's going to be and approve it before I paint it. Um, usually I'll just do the sketch and then I send it to the client and um, knock on wood. I've never had to redraw a sketch. I might have moved one or two things, but this was the very raw sketch that we did, uh, Romina and I, uh, on the video chat. So we could actually, she could tell me what she wanted in this library and I could quickly do a, a layout that would work. And then from that, um, I'm now, I did another one, a bigger drawing that is actually more, it is scaled to the what the 30 by 40 will be and put the figures in and I moved some of them around from what we originally had. Um, but, and added a piece. And added. <laughs> yeah, stop <laughs> adding stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's okay. <laughs> All right. Then up here we have. Let me put this in. Everybody's going. What is up there? That is the chandelier. Yes, the chandelier, but also yes. right here. Huh. We well, look kind of gruesome because he's kind of small here, uh, is the skeletal figure of the hitchhiking ghost with the long coat. Oh, Ezra. Ezra. Thank you. I can never remember their name. 
You're welcome. He's my fave. Oh, well, all right. Well, he's floating too. Uh, <laughs> Good. It's big cuffs. And Okay, Ezra, Ezra, you look a little weird there, Ezra. Yes, this is the chandelier up here that he's uh, coming in front of. And the woman up here has her legs crossed. And they are both having a drink, a toast. And... To work on these figures once, I actually had to, because the figures are a reflection in the glass when you go through the ballroom. And the funny thing is when you ride on the ride, you're in your doom buggy, lean forward when you get near the, don't fall out. You don't have to lean that far, but just look, lean forward a little bit when you go by the chandelier and look up on, over the ledge and you'll see their feet of the actual figures moving back and forth. <laughs> so to work on them one time, I had to sit on the ledge next to them because I certainly wasn't going to get on my my knees and lean out over because that's a long way to the floor. So I sat there and 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 I and and on on working on one of them was fine because I could do it right handed. And good thing I I am ambidextrous, so I had to sit on the other side to work on the other figure and paint with my left hand and do some touch up. <laughs> can you draw with both hands as well? Yes, I can. I can, <gasps> I'm I can. impressed. So am I. I know. <laughs> I, okay, there's a funny story to that. Uh, when I <laughs> okay, first of all, I just I I've always sort of been able to draw with both hands, and and even do some writing, I don't do a lot. But um, no, this, wait a minute, let me get this right. But anyway, I was injured. I had shrapnel in my hand, my right hand, from Vietnam. And I have some nerve damage in my hand. and. I get sharp pains in it. Sometimes my hand, parts of my hand will go numb. And I was always concerned that someday this hand would just totally give up on me and I wouldn't be able to paint or draw like I have been. So I started practicing a lot more with my left hand. And uh, I've gotten pretty good at it. Um, so actually I can draw two Disney characters on a chalkboard at the same time. <laughs> it's, is a lot of fun. That's that's scary. <laughs> that is super scary. <laughs> so um, it's a neat parlor trick. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, I uh, have been able to do that. And and then the funny part was uh, when I'm because I'm also a scenic designer and a scenic artist. I've been doing a lot of plays over the years. I'm also an actor um, and. Uh, one time, well, this was way back. Uh, let's see, it was about 20 years ago. I was uh, two years in a row. I worked on uh, all the sets uh, and designed parts of the sets and everything uh, and painted all of them for Dolly Parton at Dollywood. And it was about her life. It was uh, Paradise Road. And actually, um, it came up with a design where I took the, uh, I painted up into the side walls of the audience. So when you're sitting in the audience on your right side, about halfway back uh, with the audience is the Mount, the Smoky Mountains. And then it, be, then it becomes the set on the corner of the stage of where she um, uh, was born and everything. And then the main stage, of course, all the different sets and the changes to the show. But then as it goes over on the other side of the stage, it's Nashville on the stage itself on the very corner and then it becomes on the side wall of the audience on that side is hollywood at night well they had to they had to take out 
of, oh, I think about 10 rows of seats. And then I was on a boom lift. Now, a boom lift, if you're not familiar, is a big, heavy piece of machinery. And then it's got the armature that goes out, up and down. And you can go way out. Well, to get the furthest I could <laughs> out over the audience, and even further than the seats they'd taken out, I had this thing stretched out totally long. And every time I'd make the slightest move, this thing would go burn, burn. <laughs> so, so when you're about 10 feet off the floor, 15 feet up, it gets to be rather disconcerting. So when I was doing the uh, Smoky Mountains, I had it all laid out and I was painting it and I had, I was doing all these trees, this of the Smokies, right? So I picked up two two inch brushes and I started painting with both hands so I could do it faster because the thing was bouncing. I was trying to get finished. And they were actually uh, in the last, uh, they were a few days away from Tech Week for the opening of the show. <laughs> and they were <clears throat> rehearsing while I was painting. And everybody, I, by now I knew everybody in the cast and who the, the, the woman who was playing Dolly Parton and, um, and the choreographer and the, the director of the music and everybody. But anyway, they're, they're rehearsing full orchestra and everything. And all of a sudden it gets real quiet. And I stopped painting. <laughs> I, went, I looked at the stage and everybody, the whole cast, the crew, every, they're all standing staring at me. I went, what? And <laughs> the music director says, you're painting with both hands. I went, oh, yeah, yeah. He says, please stop doing that. I went, why? He says, no, everybody wants to watch you. <laughs> Nobody wants to rehearse. <laughs> I says, but I want to get it done because I don't like being out here on the end of this thing. <laughs> I says, don't look at me. So it was a, it was a funny running joke for the next couple of days. So yes. And actually, I painted some sets recently where I've done landscape parts of the set, and I'll paint with both hands. And it's just fun because people go, what are you doing? OK, back to this. Um, what is, oh, I'm trying to see what that, this is the clock. Yes. Somewhere in there, we were going to paint Madame Leota yeah, she's on there. a table and a chair. And then on the chair, there'll be the crow with the eyes, the beady eyes. More books. Madame Leota, you said? No, there she is. Right Where is she? there. There's the crystal ball. Oh, okay. Now, if you, again, if you read our books, especially the first one, I talk about this. Uh, we got a call one day to come up because there was all this, somebody actually had fired a gun just before they checked for guns. This was back in the 70s and hit her with buckshot. <laughs> mm. And it had put all these little holes in the, in this, um, Crystal ball, which actually was we had it was made by a uh, aircraft company, and it was so perfect you could not see the projection uh, light at all that lit her face and made this uh, illusion work so well. We had to open it up. We had to uh, pull all the pieces of buckshot out of the white hair um, and uh, do a repair on part of the face. And then we had to, we kept, we kept the mansion open after we fixed it, but we had to order a new one. And the, the new one that came never worked as well. You could see the light hitting down here on the crystal ball. It just drove me nuts. Um, for those of you who don't know, Leota is called Leota because Leota is actually Leota Tombs who is a Disney legend and was worked at the studios for many, many years. And she sculpted a lot of the original figures that are in all the attractions. And when they were doing this uh, illusion, 
um, they asked Leota, and it was for a test, to, they filmed her doing this, put makeup on her, everything else, and it was so good that they said, we're just going to use you, Leota, but her voice wasn't right for it, so it is a, an actress's voice. Now it's a new person they have in there, it's the, uh, some actor that does it, but it's not Leota. I like the original. And um, and I got to work with Leota. Actually, I took her place. She was at Disney World to train the other three artists uh, for a couple of years. And um, then when she was going back to the studios, they realized they needed a fourth artist. Um, I applied with it and got very lucky and my whole life changed. So there'll be some items here on the table. I'm not going to sketch those in, but the and now it is four o'clock. So did you want to close um, your show with anything? No, um, actually, I'm going to keep going here now. We're going to okay. go a little longer so you can see the rest of the sketch because I'm almost done. Yay! And I know you, I know you all want to see this because <laughs> right here is the raven on the chair. Yes. And actually the chair, I think you and I talked about making the upholstery on the chair uh, like the wallpaper, because you, you don't see any wallpaper in this. Um, over here, we've got the third hitchhiking ghost uh, the guy with the chubby face and weird haircut and bushy eyebrows. Yeah. He's the one with the suitcase. Yes. And actually, he will be hitchhiking or, or, or he's pointing with his, fun, with his thumb at the raven. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> um, see part of his leg here and his back is very hunched over there we go oh and there is a rug also under Leota that has fringe on the front and right here in front of this ghost is the coffin So that's not the coffin, that's the stand. <laughs> and it goes kind of like this. And I'm gonna run off the edge here. Wait a minute. Oh, get in there. That's better. Um, Where's the coffin? I can't that's, see. That's, okay, that's what I'm drawing right now. I'm, I think uh, I'm okay. blocking it. Yeah. Hold on. Let me do the top here. The top we need to open. see his hand. Yeah, there's his hand. And then. I have coming across here. Oh, and right behind here is the ladder. I may move this ladder because now I've got a ghost in front of it. Oh, sorry. So I'll probably move this ladder because I got to get my book in there. Um, oh, and this guy. Or, is, we, or we can move that hitchhiking goes on top of the coffin. Um, yeah, no? maybe. Actually, there's two candelabras on there. Oh. But here's another um, bust in the library right here. There's one over here. There's one up high here. And 
and this is more bookcases. And it comes off at an angle this way. So, these are all books, more books, <laughs> lots of books. You just had to pick a library, didn't you? Boy, there'll be a lot of books. <laughs> Could you just sponge them in? <laughs> <laughs> like a tree, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Um, so there will be two alcoves here. Okay. The bookcase is running off the end of the painting here. And the end of that. And there you have it. No. Yeah, yeah I think you can see that pretty good, can't you? I can see it. I mean, so, yeah, you can that see all looks, the figures. What do you think? That looks amazing. I'm showing my husband. <laughs> He's right next to me. Hi, David. <laughs> that, that looks pretty amazing. Cool. All right, everybody. Um, I will be working on a stretch painting uh, into next week, but next Thursday, I will actually then be putting, laying this out on the 30 inch by 40 inch canvas. So join in, it should be fun. Maybe we'll have a chance to put a little bit of color on it. But anyway, you're gonna see the whole process. And this I will- This process was pretty cool because we, you and I talked about it, what, last week? Yeah. And, uh, and some things have changed, some things have evolved. And they look great. And the detail work of this painting is going to be amazing. Yes, it's it's it is definitely going to have detail. And the fact that it's all going to move and glow in black light. And there I signed it. So you'll get you'll get the sketch. You'll get the original sketch too. You'll get this. Oh, cool. I'll get when I'm done. Sketch. So there you go. So this will have a lot of neat colors and a lot going on. Ta -da. Yes. Yay. I have never seen any painting in the library like this, so it's going to be a very unique oh. piece. And, and for those of you who are thinking about me doing a painting, that's just it. I You know, of course, the stretch rooms are one thing. And I, I do hide hidden Mickeys in the stretch room paintings and all other paintings. There will be hidden Mickeys in this one. But these are certainly fun to come up with and to create unique paintings. Um, I've done paintings where I've, I've put people into the paintings, like in the Pirates of the Caribbean, in Jungle Cruise, they have the Thornton family in the, in the, uh, um, in the boat <laughs> going on a Jungle Cruise. Um, but, yeah, I do that with different paintings. I'll put people in them. Sometimes I put myself in them. I won't be in this one. But if you do see a guy in the corner with a mustache, it's either me or Walt. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, we've gone on long enough here. <laughs> yeah. Thank you everybody for joining in and I'm glad we finally figured this out so you could see it. Um, and um, I'll, Romina and I will be back next Thursday at three o'clock and uh, on to the next step. So 
Keep a Disney song in your heart and a friend by your side. We will see you all next week.